All right, so I like this setup a lot better. Got the entrances blocked off. On the top, I took the shims out, so I can't get out the top. Uh, my screen bottom board is here, and there is plenty of room for this thing to, well, I wouldn't say plenty, but just enough room for it to slide under. I measured out one and a half grams of oxalic acid. So we dropped quite a bit, so 178. So we gotta wait for this to heat up, but we'll just slide this in. A little bit of a tight fit. Uh, let me see if I can close that a little bit more. Wait for this to ramp up, and when we get close to uh, vaporization, I'll. Uh, I'm really a fan of using the number eight hardware screen, which uh, which means eight um, holes per inch or eight, eighth inch holes. It's uh, too small for the bees to get through. So um, having it on the bottom there is great because I can I can do this vaporization treatment, and um, and they can't even get out of the hive. They, and uh, so it gives me a way to kind of get something in the hive without them coming out. Same thing. Uh, the, the feeders that I made had um, number eight hardware cloth with a with a jar that sits on top of it. So I was able to um, during the summer open up the top and change out the uh, the jars to the feeders without even getting uh, suited up or anything because um, you know no bees could come out that way to get to go after me and they were just happy to uh, to keep coming and going through the front entrance. Um, so it's it's really worked out well. I'm I'm, I'm glad I uh, made the hives this way. Didn't anticipate doing the uh, oxalic acid treatment this way, but um, it's much better. And this way, you know that the hot aluminum plate isn't going to get jammed up into some burr comb or like contacting any bees down there, and they can easily move away from it if it's it's too hot. All sealed up in there, they can't move away from the vapor. But that's okay. That shouldn't harm them. It doesn't affect them like it affects the mites. I think I read that it's something like 70 times more toxic to the mites than it is to the uh, bees. I don't think it'll hurt too much if I just kind of pull this out a little bit if I can. See what we're doing. Okay, so... Not quite melted yet. I guess we'll let this go up a little higher. Some, some vapors. That might be some oxalic acid vapors, but there's some coming up out of there. Just wait a little bit longer. Yeah, so um, after I poked it with a screwdriver, I pushed some down onto the aluminum and uh, Oh, here we go, yeah. It's boiling off now, finally. Very weird, like, um, it's almost like it wasn't, uh, I'll turn this off for a minute because it's getting too hot, um, making contact with the aluminum to vaporize, so, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this works. I don't know, I think maybe it was coming up to temperature and for some reason it's just uh, 
I needed a little bit of to melt to make contact and transfer the heat. Um, otherwise, maybe it was vaporizing off the bottom layer and then leaving like uh, I don't know. I, I don't I don't know why. It's acting very strange. Still going. There's still some in there. So what I'll do is, uh, when, I'm, when we're done here, I'm going to pull this vaporizer out and wrap this up. I'm going to leave this board in here because I want to count uh, count the mic drop that comes off off of this, and uh, and 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 then see how many dead mites are, are left down there. So in the next uh, few days or so, we should definitely see a lot of mites on this board. And that'll be the, the clue to whether this, this worked or not. Uh, I guess that's it for this video. I'm going to let this, uh, this cook off as much as it, as it, uh, as it will. And then uh, and that's it. Took way longer than I thought. Hopefully the next time I do this, all the bugs will be worked out. And uh, I still got to treat this hive over here. And I might be able to right now. Looks like they're finally uh, gone back inside. So I have to use the same bottom board though. I only have, uh, or whatever you want to call this. Uh, I only have one of them. All right. Uh, not as exciting maybe as I hoped, but um, at least you can see how uh, how I fared. Let's take one last look. Oh, I still got some in there. I guess we'll turn this back on. I don't know. Trial and error, we'll figure it out. That's it for this time.